All right, so I just wanted to just show you what it's like working with us. And kind of to do that, I, I, I want to share a quick backstory so you, a little bit, you, know, you get to know a little bit more about me and kind of like and what I'm about, who I am, that type of stuff. Uh, so I, you know, I, I got out of college in 2006, spent, spent the first five and a half years at, at a, at a you know, pretty, pretty big company, a Fortune 100 company, and uh, learned a lot there. Um, and it kind of, it was, it was a lot of growth opportunities involved and stuff like that. A lot of really good stuff. Um, a lot of leadership stuff and, and sales, everything, right? Uh, business, how to, how to run, uh, not necessarily how to run small businesses, but how to, how, like little things you want to put into businesses to make them do better. Um, learned a lot of, a lot of that stuff over the, over those, those years. And then, and then spent another few years at a competitor's company, similar, same industry. So I was, that, I was in that industry for, for a, a total of 11 years. Um, and in 2014, um, w which was kind of like a, I, guess, I still was in that industry, but in 2014, that's where I, I, uh, I, I got the idea that I wanted to get into the fitness business. And really came down to, um, I, I, I'd always been into the fitness. I, I'd always been a wor into working out for football. Like I played football for a long time. Um, a lot, lot, lot longer than most adults do, um, and so, but I, I, you know, I always loved being at the gym, and I was, I was working a ton in the job that I was doing, you know, I just remember bringing my son to daycare, uh, he was, he was like two and a half, and, and this was kind of like the pivotal moment that sort of like, just like made me say, okay, I gotta do something different, um, he's two and a half, I'm in my suit, um, had, you know, driving the Audi, and, you know, I, I, um, you know, on the, on the way to daycare, he's just like, dad, I want to come to work with you. And, and that just stuck with me. And then from there on, I, I just, I, I said, okay, well, I should open a franchise. And, um, because I felt like why reinvent the wheel? Let's go down, down the road of a path that's already proven and they'll have marketing and systems and all that stuff. It's a totally different industry that I didn't know anything about. So in 2000, at the very beginning of 2015, I bought into a franchise. And it was in the fitness world. Again, like I said, I had no experience in that world. So it, it, let's just say that that was a, it was a six figure learning lesson. Um, so, you know, when, when you, when you lose that kind of money, um, it's not just, it doesn't happen all at one time. It was a course of 2015, some big checks right in the beginning. But, uh, but then, you know, when you're, when you're like working another job in order to pay people so that the business stays going, um, and you've got no customers coming in, uh, you, you, that, that, that's, that you, you kind of like learn a lot from that. Right. And so, and so the, the main thing I kept trying to tell that franchise or was that we needed to get into certain advertising platforms. And I knew that at that time, Facebook ads were crushing for people. They still do absolutely crush for people. And I really wanted to get into that world and he was very resistant to it. And so he, he wanted guerrilla marketing, um, all that kind of stuff. So most of the stuff that was done in like, you know, the nineties and two thousands, I guess. Um, and, and I, and I, I, I knew I wanted to, to get into the online marketing world. And through that, I ended up going down this ro road of, of like figuring that stuff out for myself as I opened, as I opened, uh, you know, my, my, or I bought a CrossFit gym at the beginning of 2016. So spent all of 2015 losing money, 2016, um, 2016, you know, I, I was, uh, I bought a CrossFit gym. It had 35 members, right? Roughly 35 members. It said like 40 something on the, I remember looking at it. I was like, okay, well, it's 30 something. They're actually paying. And it's, you know, it was, the thing was bringing in like, like four grand a month or something like that. It was like nothing. And, and, and so, and I stayed, I was continuing to work in the other industry. So I had another income that, to come in. And what I did is I never actually coached anybody. I, I, I took basically, I took about a little bit more than probably a little bit more than half of the income to the revenue that it just basically took whatever was going for rent and whatever was going, um, for, for our staff split that up from the revenue. And then I just started using my own money to do marketing. And, um, and, and it, 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 it I, I tried a lot of things. I spent a lot of money, bought a lot of courses. Um, 
you know, between ads and courses, I, I spent about two hundred thousand dollars in those in those first couple of years, uh, first few years. Um, so when you really when you really look at it, um, that went to about three fifteen slash three thirty somewhere in that range, depending on like how many people on top of the number roll were, were counted. Could have been more. Um, so so we went from that. It's you know, that was two thousand sixteen. That was in 2018. So, you know, we went from there, 2016 to 2018, um, you know, pr pretty fast. And, through, through, and, and, and so I, I fast tracked that by, by, by paying a ton of money into courses and into ads. And that's, that's really what did that. Um, and so, but I also brought a, a, bunch of, a bunch of experience from another industry on how to lead people, how to organize teams, all that sort of stuff. So I was able to implement that really fast. So what it's like working with us is I, I, I you know, I, obviously I bring all that, all that, you know, knowledge and I went through all the courses. Like you've probably seen the gym related courses. I went through all those, um, and any gym related course that you could think of, I went through it. Uh, I went through other ones too. Other ones that are outside the gym niche, but are not focused on gyms. Um, you know, and, and, and I found some parallels and then I also like took in to context that basically like all these courses were at the end of the day was like what I got for pretty much free for, for the comp from the companies that I worked for, for like 10 and a half, 11 years. Right. Like, 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 you know, the, the last, the last year or so, um, I was in the gym, I was more in the gym, like working in the gym than I was in the other business. So I was just able to continue to get income from it. Um, so, uh, that said though, you know, it's a, that, 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 that's all, that, that, that's all the knowledge that like, that like kind of we're tapping into, but it's, it's, it isn't just me. So as we build, like, as we, as we're building this group, the way it, the way it kind of has transpired is I didn't go out there and actively, you know, say that like, I'm going to build, I'm going to be this, you know, spotlight kind of guy or anything like that. Like that, that was not, that's, that's just never been me. Um, and a lot of these trainings that I've been making lately, it's just been, it's been like trying to just help our clients, right? So, so I'm trying to just teach them stuff and, and I realize I can kind of help other people too. Um, you know, just kind of like be aware of some of the, some of the things that, that like, that like those, some of the pitfalls in, in business, right? We've got to be aware of those. Um, and then just some, some of the, the, the things that we can do to accelerate growth. And uh, really what I have done, you know, the way, the way that this works is, um, is, is like, when you start working with us, um, we get in there, we get, we, we look at your business, we look at, you know, compensation, everything. And we make sure that like that thing is set up correctly. It doesn't matter where you're at. If, if you are not in a place that yet supports co compensating employees, it doesn't matter. We need to build like an employee compensation package so that like, if you're doing that work, or if somebody else is doing that work, like you know a defined amount of money that's going toward that, and then you know what the next step is for you, right? So, so we we get in and we we understand like like the right compensation to pay, you know. You you got to look at it like you're wearing multiple hats, right? You're you're the you know the CEO. You got marketing, because marketing is the lifeblood of the business. You can't you can't have a business if you don't have customers, right? So you so you have the CEO. Um, you have CFO, all that type of stuff. But then when you get into the nitty gritty, like of the business, you're going to have your sales. Jeez. Sales and ops. Right. That's really going to be it. Right. And then, and then the ideal type of people to have here is somebody who does sales plus coaches. Somebody who does ops plus coaches. And you want these people to be kind of like a partner, right? Just like for me, you know, I'm coming in at the marketing capacity, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to help you with all of these things, right? I'm more like a partner, but I say that word like, like really like through experience, right? When, and one of the mistakes that we made in 2017, like I told you, we, we, I got my first gym in 2016, 2000, halfway through 2016, I opened a second gym. Probably not prepared for that, right? So, um, and then it ended up closing. I had to close it 
in, uh, the other one in 2017, just the way the way that like leases worked and stuff like that, they weren't going to renew. It was a sort of a blessing in disguise because I had this guy who I used the wrong I see I used the word, word partner the wrong way, and he took that as like as as if as if it like if it as if it was uh, um, he actually owned equity in my company. So if I'm a partner with your company or your we're, we don't own equity in any, in either but any anybody's companies, right? I say in the context of like the company that I was with defined my, like my manager, he was called a partner. He really wasn't a partner of the company. That was just a term they a label they gave him. So I had like years of like that imprinted in my brain as like what a partner was. It's just that's it, it's just more of a leader in the company. And so and so um, because you, you, you're more or less a, a partner with the people that you're helping. So I wanted it. I wanted to use that terminology. So again, I'm very cautious with the term partner because it can lead people down this road of thinking that they own equity in your company and they don't, right? And I don't own equity in your company. But if you're partnering with me to work on these things, you know, sure, I'm coming in. I'm going to really doubt like, like we're going to do a bang up job on this, but we're going to get in and we're going to define what this should be, what this should be, because these guys should get a base comp plus commissions plus bonus. Okay, bonus should be tied to revenue. Revenue should be like like some of my other charts that you guys have probably seen. You know that like there's different tiers of of, of where the revenue is. That should co coincide with a specific bonus amount that goes to each level. Again, these bonuses these are things that. I had to learn like the hard way on how to do this the right way. Um, you know, we, we went from, from well, we get a certain percentage of top line revenue. Do, oh, okay, well, then there's expenses. So how do we factor that in? And then there's, okay, so we'll do it on bottom line revenue. But then the employees are saying, well, we can't control expenses. So uh, th then they start to want to have a say in what we're spending money on, right? So, okay, now let's say, and, and as a business, a lot of times we're, we're, we're putting vehicles through, putting all these other things through that show us expenses. So at what point, what do you have to like kind of cut things out? Like what's not going to cut up? There's all, that leaves a lot of questions for employees. They need something super simple. So they know at each level what their bonus is. So then they can push toward the right level and the bonuses should be tied toward getting your gym to that gym sweet spot and it should be tied to that and that only. Like you shouldn't have them focused on a number that's unattainable. That's not going to, that's not going to come to fruition, right? Like, like if, if you're saying like you want the gym to be $75,000 a month for them to max out their comp plan, that's not really fair because if you try to build that gym, that gym's very hard to sustain. So if, if you can go back and watch my gym sweet spot video about that, but, um, but we want to build a competition, a bonus structure that, 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 that makes sense there. We want to build a commission structure that is based around like knowing your actual, how much does it cost you to acquire a customer? Well, you have to factor in commissions into that, right? It, commissions have to be part of cost of, to acquire a customer. So, so we, we factor that in so that we can run an actual profitable business. So, that's really the first thing is we get in, we, we like look at the business, no matter where it's at, we're going to say, okay, these are, these are kind of the, the roles that we're going to work toward. And if the revenue doesn't support it, like you could be like me and say, I'm going to get my, my income from another source and I'm going to hire somebody. And what I did is I hired somebody who did this. I paid all my money out. And so I didn't have to do any ops or coaching. And all I did was sales and I did, did my other job. I set up my sales. So they were at night and, uh, and then I did my other job during the day. That's, that's how I did it. Right. So, so I was, I was, I was like, I was working the hot stuff. It was crazy. But, um, but like that, that, that's how I did it. And then, um, in 2018, I passed off sales. So I did that for about two years and then I passed off sales to the person who was doing this. I moved him over here and I filled that position with some, with, with, with somebody else. And we, we filled that position a couple different times, but, but, uh, but we found how to hire for the sweet spot for an ops person. You don't want an entrepreneur as your ops person. I can promise you, you have to have, you have to be able to like dig in and figure out, is this person entrepreneurial? You have to figure that out. So dig in and figure that out. Right? So, so though, so we're going to dig in, help you see what, what should be, what should be what, like if you, you know, if you're, if you're doing sales plus coaching, then you have to, we have to build super fast, right? Which, 
which uh, which is you know in the first couple of months when I bought when I bought the gym, we didn't and it, like there's a lot of testing, so I didn't have like a, a huge flow of people coming in every month. That did that took a few months. Well, you 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 you're basically funding things that don't work for a few months. That 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 can add up, right? So most pe- most people don't have the wherewithal or the or the resources to just fund things for a certain number of months before they can actually make profit. That's why we 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 inject so many leads in the beginning, so many, and we, we, we get people in your door, not just leads, we get them in your door, right? So we, we, we get this all uncovered, we get, get everybody's role in place so we know who's selling, um, and we teach you how to sell, we teach you how to, like, like we, we do all the follow-ups, so you don't have to do any of it, that takes a ton of time, ton, ton, of, ton off your plate. So we take care of all the follow-up, um, you know, so so we get we get the leads coming. We take care of all the follow up, but now you know how to sell. You've been prepped. You're ready. We have your sales schedule completely mapped out, so that you know how to get the best show rates, and how to how to get the bet how to leverage energy from small group sales. If you're if you're a coach, you're used to talking to groups. It works better. What we found is that our coach did, does better. Our coaches when we transition coaches into sales, they do better because they're used to just talking to groups when they do group sales and they not as good when they're doing individual sales. So, so the group sales, you can leverage energy. It's amazing. So, um, we teach you everything you need to know, like, and all the things you don't do. Like there's so much that goes into to, to getting people to buy, like from the, the pre-sale questionnaire to, you know, the, the welcoming of them, the pre-sale questionnaire, just every aspect of, of like that whole in- interaction when they first walk in your door, the forms that they're given, so you give them the forms on the clipboard. Why? Why the clipboard? Because because it's like when they go to the doctor, the doctor hands them a clipboard and they got to fill things out. You want them to feel like they're in the doctor's office and you're going to prescribe the solution. Uh, you're going to engage with them, talk to them one-on-one, get to know them a little bit, and then get them in a group, uh, a, a small group presentation, go through, your, go, through, go through your thing, and then you get them as a customer, right? So we teach you everything you need to know about all of that. Um, Everybody is in a group. We motivate each other. We support each other. So we, we, uh, you know, the, the other companies, the other gyms that we work with, everybody collaborates. We collaborate so that we can bring energy and support. And people will ask questions, and I can chime in and answer. But by asking questions, like one person asks some questions, everybody else gets the answer to that. Everyone grows faster. Um, you know, it's kind of like one of these sort of mastermind type of things. But it's it it it, it sounds a little like woo woo, I guess. But it. It uh, it works very well when you have we have many minds collaborating, right? Collaborating, innovating, and you see success across all 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 the gyms that work with us. As a result of just you know every the energy and, and the support that everyone brings, but the reality is that we are injecting all the leads in, and along the way, we we have some customers who are just like, hey, I'm here, I'm the CEO. I want nothing. I don't care. I know. I know you guys do marketing. I know you do a good job. Like I don't care. I don't want to learn it. Then I have other customers who are like, I want to know this. Like I want to know this, and we're, we're we're like, all right, awesome. Like we'll teach you how to run the ads. We'll teach you how to do everything, right? We'll teach you um, everything you need to know on how to how to build your own like version of what we do. So we are totally happy with, with with helping on that on that regard. It doesn't matter. Like we want to. I think a lot of agencies are out there. They want to like act like the marketing is so sophisticated. You don't know it. You don't, you don't need to. We're not gonna. You know, you're not gonna have the time to learn it. You can go buy some expensive courses and learn it. No, you can leverage all those expensive expensive courses right through me. Um, so you don't have to go buy those expensive courses if you want to know this stuff. Look, we'll teach you. It's 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 not rocket science. Um, it just it just you know it comes down to uh, you can fast track like. You, you, you can either go through the potholes, you can go through the, the pitfalls yourself and pay courses to learn it, or you can go do it through this program and, and, and actually get sales while you're learning this stuff, right? So that's, so, so basically kind of like what we've done here is we took in like the normal agency model and the, 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 the model where people are selling courses for like 10 grand and we combine those into one thing and now that's what that's what we do is we, we get you the customers and we teach you what we're doing if you want to know it. If you don't want to know it, 
that's totally fine too. You're still gonna get the customers, they're gonna come in, everyone's gonna sell, and, and, uh, and we're gonna teach you everything about how to, how to fulfill on them on the back end. So some of the other videos that I, that I showed you, or that you might have seen, you know, I, I, the gym funnel, we're gonna pl help plug every single hole that's coming, you know, that, that, that could be in your funnel, right? That could be in your business. We're gonna help you plug all those holes up so you sure up the business in a way that you have, you're, you're getting the best, you, you, you know, you're getting the lowest possible churn, um, creating the best community. So we put all, we, we, we just give you all the tools and all, all the best practices that we do at our gym. Like I still own a gym. We, we you know, I, I, I go there on Mondays and, uh, and sometimes I go there like, you know, other days during the week, but I go there Mondays to run a team meeting. Other than that, um, other than that, I just, uh, you know, I'll go there to work out and hang out with people because I like them and it's a cool place. But, um, you know, I work out with them, not, I don't really like train them. So, um, I don't train them. I don't, I, 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 I'm a terrible, <laughs> terrible, like fitness coach. Um, but, uh, but anyways, that, that said, um, that just, it, it, it's, it's, I think it's more business sort of overall business models than it is just marketing, but you're only paying for marketing, right? You, you get to work with us and the only way we make money is when we get people to show up in your door. So that's pretty, that's pretty sweet. If you, you know, if you were to ask me, if, I, if I was to like, if, if somebody came up to me in 2016 and said, Hey, we get people to show up in your door and you only pay us when they show up, I would, I, I, that would have been like, it, it, and we're gonna teach you all of these other tools, like that would have saved me so much money, so much time, so much energy, so much stress. I just would have been able to just, just run with my business and then just live in profit land like I do now. Like, immediately, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have had to have all these stumbling blocks. I wouldn't have had to grow up to 335 and realize, Oh crap, like this is uh, insane and it's an insane amount of pressure and I either have to, if I want to sustain this kind of customer base, I have to go buy some more equipment, I have to take on more space, I have to take on more more expenses, you know, like it's just sometimes it's just not, it's just, just not worth it, right? So you, you built the business to the sweet spot, we're going to teach you where that sweet spot is, help you maintain it there and if you want to open another one, now you have all the resources to do that effectively without, without worrying about it like collapsing without taking a ton of like uh without without taking you know like a toll on on, on, on your stress levels with, without taking a toll on your health right um you're in this for for your health so don't go make it super stressful and make yourself unhealthy for it right so um so th these are all the things that, that that we will work on we we you know we will teach you um and you know, it just comes down to uh, we're only getting paid when we get people to show up in your doors. So we are mutually aligned. All right. Um, hope hope this video was helpful for you. Um, it's very raw. This is not like some scripted thing. It's just literally just I'm just kind of going through my experience in this in this industry and um, and just being like just super real with you about. Um, you know, about what it's, what it's like working with us. And just kind of like, as I'm describing this, I'm sort of kind of thinking about what it's like working with our, with our, with our gyms. I mean, every month, each gym gets a monthly plan consult. So we talk, we talk, we go over their monthly plan. We get, we get all dialed in on that. So it's like, we run it like a real actual business. I run it like the way I, I, I that, that I was taught in, uh, in my, in my other career, um, where, you know, I, I, I basically had my own little business inside of a big business. And so, and so my manager sat down with me once a month and we did monthly plan. And then each week we would have a call, at least a call every single week. Um, for me, I, I actually took advantage of the meetings every single week because I, I saw value in it. It was called a PRP. Did that PRP every single month. Uh, it was, yeah, it was mostly Mondays for five years, right? For five years I did that. Sat down with Jason Leonard, five years straight every Monday. like. It was, uh, but it, but it, it taught me a lot about business. It kept me in check. It made sure that I held, it held me accountable. So that's what we'll be doing. We'll be connecting with you at least weekly on the phone, and at least monthly for monthly plan, right? 
and then that way that drives success that, that gets you to where you want to be you see you see what others are doing that's going to help encourage you to 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 to, to hit you know to, to get your business to where you want it to be as fast as possible like you no one wants to be the, the no one wants to be the gym that's like not yet the business that's not yet to the sweet spot we're going to get you there as fast as we can right and so we do that we do that through our paid advertising uh, we have we teach you about how to how to build your audiences through engagement ads and everything so we will we'll help you build all that stuff um anyway i hope this was helpful again um you know i look forward to i definitely look forward to working with you uh we'll look forward to partnering with you so that we can just help each other grow but more importantly like help your gym grow fast all right i'll see you soon